Hello, friends and neighbors. Welcome. To Hello, friends and neighbors. Welcome to another production of the program. It's time to find a new XLR cable. Is my mic cutting out in and out? Hi, uh, my friends out there in TV land. Thank you for joining me in this very difficult time difficulter and difficulter um is that from uh Alice in Wonderland why would they why would they be surprised in that curious sir and curious sir I don't know what it is I'll have to ask around. Um, you can call the number up there. It's 360-364-384. Or you can go to whitehshbm.com. Get on the meat. That's what I'm doing right now. And we got a Mr. Ginsu message from yesterday to listen to. Video phone. Uh, yesterday I did the program at one o'clock with, uh, Andrew was there for a while. Uh, Yellow Fellow, I think we talked to you yesterday for a good amount of time. And Yellow Fellow's getting sushi. Grandma went to the, I was not feeling too, too well actually. Oh, I'm concerned about that. Hopefully, Grandma will be doing better. I'm going to call her today. She was a little nauseous, I guess, after going to the doctor. Not after going to the doctor, after going to the in the eating Burger King, though. Oh, Andrew gave her Burger King right after. <laughs> well, hopefully she's doing better. Um, after the program... Went to work. It was, uh, there were some people at the Capitol, like the, the, um, the flag people, praise from people. But when I go, I just go down Capitol on the main road, and I, I, I heard that there. The big group of them were farther back, and some of them were at the the mansion, I guess. The governor's mansion, which is a stupid place to go. There, no be in there. I guess I heard that they were breaking in there, but those are all kind of hearsay. Some people from over went over there and checking it out. And of course, there was a crazy capital, country capital breach that is on the news. But I'm sure you've seen the news, viewers, right? Maybe you're watching this, you're not watching the news. But uh, people were over there. I saw them walking around. It's weird. It's a weird time. We should call Freddy, see if he's there. Somebody might be working. I can't come to the phone right now, but if you leave me a nice message, I'll call you back as soon as I can. Thanks a lot. Hi, you've reached Freddy Dober. I can't come to the phone right now, but if you leave me a nice message, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks. (laughs) 
Hey, Freddy. This is a program. I'm starting it now. How are you? How's the production going? You see any uh, crazy rioters, protesters? Okay, bye. Yeah, I wonder what happened. That's the top ball. But, I don't know, life goes on, I guess. We're just going to keep doing our thing. Keep hyping, doing things. What's going to happen in the world? Oh, it seems so, like, kind of weird, but what do these things affect me personally? I don't know, I did have to sometimes dodge people. But in my way. I don't know why. The protests are people, and the anti mask people are the same people. Are they? I don't know. It's weird. Uh, okay. Well, it's what? It's called Grandma? Or Mr. Kinsu first? I don't know if Mr. Kinsu is going to answer earlier. Well. Well, 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 well. It sure sounds to me like we've made you quite the snidely little smart-ass motherfucker. Hmm. Making jokes at my fucking expense. <laughs> yep. Motherfucker. Uh-oh. Who in the fuck do you think you fucking are, motherfucker? You gonna make a joke at my expense? Who and what the fuck do you think you're fucking doing? He's just mad at me. You got kum kumquats for brains or something? You been smoking crack? You been drinking beer? <laughs> Are you drunk? Stupid fuck. What the fuck? I don't know what you're referring to. Dumpster chick? <laughs> Fuck you. I'm the one in the dumpster, you stupid cunt. Oh. Chick? Not in the dumpster, dumbass. <laughs> Name calling. Uh, yeah, almost got me motherfucking speechless, except for... Words keep coming out my fucking pie hole. <laughs> Can't fucking do nothing about that whenever you got me fucking irritated. Making fucking jokes at my fucking expense. And it ain't even fucking funny. What part of fucking that is funny? What part of any of fucking whatever I was telling you is mother fucking funny? Are you watching the Oh, shows? the part about... What's that called? When a bunch of my... I better shut the fuck up. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Wow. Well. <laughs> smoke a cigarette. I'm not. You're... <clears throat> <laughs> you little motherfucking cunt. And I think I heard you Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Three six zero five zero three.
Hello, Mr. Ginsu. It's the program. I was uh, listening to your message. And you're mad at me for making jokes at your expense, if that's what I think you said. Um, which jokes are you referring to? Are you watching the program, or was I saying them right to your face? I don't remember, necessarily. Um, you can call us back. You have about uh, 50 minutes today. Uh, but... I think he's working. Should we call Grandma? Should we look at the tape stuff? Call Grandma. This is Pi's phone. Leave a name and number. Hello? Hi, Grandma. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm okay. I'm still bit. You're asleep? Yeah. Uh, I woke you up? Yeah. You gonna go back to sleep? She's, yeah, she's stuck in bed. She won't get up. Since when? Uh... Tuesday. She's been in bed since Tuesday? Yeah. You said to go to the doctor, right? What day today? Today's Thursday. Tuesday? Thursday. Tuesday. You should get up. Oh. Are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah. She needs to eat and drink water. She didn't go to, she didn't get, uh, and no more vomiting? No. That's water, Grandma. Grandma, you gotta get up and do walk around the make her walk around the house or something. Yeah, I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna cook her some breakfast, and make her get up. She hasn't got in the bed in three days. Yeah. That's not good. I thought she went to the doctor not too long ago. She did. She went to the doctor and then right after that got sick. And then she's been in the, she's been in the, in the bed since then. Yeah. How do you feel? I feel okay. Do you think you can get up and walk around? How are you doing? I'm okay. She's got a cough? No. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. She's fine. Alright. Well, I'm eating food. I made myself food. I I burned out a rice cooker today. Do you remember that when I was talking about rice cookers? How'd you do that? I don't know. The light just turned off, and the, when it's plugged in, it's supposed to not do that. Yeah. So, if I don't know if it's going to be burned out or not. I already ordered a new one. So maybe the, if the old one still works, then I'll have a backup now. But maybe it's going to repair itself. But I left it on warm for a while, and it looked like it burned itself out. But I bought the absolute cheapest one on the market. And it died. How much was it? Like $15. Wow. How long did it last? Only since, the, like, uh, June. <laughs> wow. Do you use it every day or something? I basically use it every day or every, like, couple of days. I eat a lot of rice. But hmm. I basically make a big batch of it every few days and then put it in the fridge. But I, bu I already ordered a new one. The new one I ordered is the one next one up. It's twenty dollars instead of the fifteen dollar one. Maybe that one will last longer than like four months. Why don't you just buy a good one? It's it Christmas time. Because I'm concerned that if I buy a good one, that it's gonna burn out. Also. Well, it's not so. 
So I bought I bought a medium one this time. I, I figure the medium one, cause like I bought like top of the like I just want the regular one that just you press a button and it goes, you know. Like it doesn't have any electronics in it. I don't want one of those fancy ones with like all the machine stuff, you know. So I bought, like, basically there's only two levels of those ones, and I bought the top level of that kind. Grandma does only does one thing. And it's lasted forever, huh? Yeah. The big one? Mm-hmm. The big one only does one thing? Yeah. You just put it in there and you press a button, that's it? Mm-hmm. Huh, you use that thing? Yeah, do you, what kind of, what brand did you buy? I don't know. I bought some crappy brand. I bought the cheapest one available. Yeah, just go get a good Asian brand, and it won't die. I got one for twenty dollars this time. It's not Asian brand, but uh. Well, then you're just gonna die again. We'll see in like five months. That's dumb. You should get a good one that won't die. Well, I'm testing them out. I guess uh, maybe this one won't die too. I've had other ones the last few years. Yeah. So. Because they're not twenty dollars. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the, I think the last one I had was twenty dollars and it lasted for years, and this one only lasted for months. But I'm I'm cooking a lot more than I usually did. Yeah. Lots of rice. Like more. I mean, more more than twenty dollars worth of rice in it. Um, <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. You watch the TV? Mm, yep. You got, you got frozen rice still? Did grandma freeze the rice? Sometimes. Oh, I'm concerned. Um, what's on TV? Um, I'm watching old episodes of Hot Ones. Yeah? With, uh... Chef Ramsey? <coughs> uh, I found one with Tommy Chong from like five years ago. Is he he's good he, he can handle it? Yeah, he eats the wings and he's like, oh, this is good, man. Huh. And it's like really, really spicy and he's like, mmm. I don't know if I can handle it. I don't think he could either. You don't think I could? Oh. Why, could you? No. Maybe. Seems like most of the people do. Maybe I could. I mean, I would do it. I would just not have a good time. Yeah, I think, yeah, you could do it. Yeah, you could do it, but it's like the celebrities always get through it. You know? Yeah, they always get through it. I guess they're not having a good time. No. Probably not. I like a little spice. I put sriracha on everything. Sriracha is, uh, Sriracha was the first one they used. Yeah. Sriracha is the lowest level of spice. So, that's the one I like to eat. Um, <coughs> yeah. I guess, is it bad if, uh, Sriracha is spicy to me? I think it's spicy. And I guess that means that we are weak. Weak spice tolerance, yeah. Um, are you giving grandma food? Are you give, making her eat? Not really. Well, we gotta make her eat. Yeah, I'm gonna make her eggs right now and get make her eat. Yeah. Well. <coughs> mm-hmm. How about you? You eat today? No, I just woke up. Did I wake you up? No. Oh. Wake up, turn on TV. Mm, yeah. Or you leave it on all night. You turn it off. You turn it back on. You ever watch that TV in the living room? Never do? The CRT? No. You ever play your Wii? You never play that Wii? No. So are you playing the Switch? No. Not even the Switch? Sometimes. Mostly just watching TV? Sitting around watching TV. No switch, huh? What do you? What did you see outside? You see anything outside? No. 
about about the Capitol? What do your coworkers think about the Capitol insurrection? Uh, I don't know. You didn't talk to them about it? Actually, a couple of coworkers, this really dumb 18 year old, like Jesus freaks basically. Uh huh. This, he's like 18 or 19, like a couple of months ago, he said something like, the reasons why, the reason why school shootings happen is because they took the Bibles out of the schools. Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> he's, he's 19, 18, 19. Very dumb. Very dumb. What the fuck? He's on his way to. He's on his way to. to, to, to he he believes. He says that he belongs to the, the silent majority. Sounds like, majority sounds, the, sounds like the terrorism talk. What? Sounds like terrorism talk. Yeah. No, it is because he says that the silent majority are the people who are the Trump supporters who don't talk about it, you know? Does he mean white people? Basically, yeah, and he says that uh, the Civil War would happen if Trump lost. And so I was joking yesterday, I was like, hey, look, but you see it's starting, huh? And he's like, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, Jesus, that's not, that's not, like, funny. You're not being funny. I was being funny. You're not being funny. He was going, he was like, yes. Yes, he yeah. has. He's like, I'm going to murder you tomorrow, basically. What? Basically, he said, if I had a gun right now, I would, you would be dead, basically. Yeah. You, know? you tell me he's a terrorist? No. Oh. But he is. But that, 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 that struck fear into my heart. No, now I'm terrorized. Yeah, I mean, you didn't want to tell him? You didn't want to tell him about equality and white supremacy? I didn't think about that. Uh, he, is a, he is the palest person I've ever met. He's very white. He's very white? He's, he's the whitest white boy to ever white. Yeah. What's, uh, that's, that's, that's bad. You should tell him. Tell him that, the, that don't be a terrorist. That's not, he's like, that's like, whenever anybody brings up church stuff, you say, that sounds like terrorist talk. Yeah. What are you, a terrorist? They're the new terrorists now. The what? What? White people. Oh, yeah. They did it. They did it themselves. Now they're the terrorists. Yeah, but for some reason, the w oh, yeah, but the white people are in control, so the white people let the white people be the terrorists, so that's why they can storm the White House and that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. They're losing control. Mm-hmm. You know the lady who died? Yeah. She got shot. There's, a, there's actually a small video of it on YouTube. I found it. Who shot her? That's what I was trying to figure out. For some reason, I feel like the news was avoiding saying that she got shot because the, um, she got shot by the police. Oh, yeah? But it seems like the news was avoiding saying that she got shot because she was part of that fucking riot, basically. She was? They're just like, they're just like woman got shot in White House. Got shot. She died. She got shot. That's all they said over and over again. You know how they usually say, the killer is this person. Yeah. What I'm the killer. It was, she got shot because she's a fucking dumbass rioter, and the cops killed her because that's what they're supposed to do. Yeah. They're defending the White House. I thought that she was, like, it seemed like maybe she was like a, like a uh, office aide or something at the Capitol, but she, yeah, she was a rioter. She was a rioter who was trying to break down the front door of the White House, so they killed her. Of course. Oh, oh, oh no. That's crazy. Yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> that's what happens. I thought that they shot each other. They, they didn't shoot each other. It was somebody else. The uh, cop shot her. It seems that way, but I don't know what, I don't know how it can happen, but only one round was fired. How, how did that right there not just, like, Start like a hail of gunfire, you know. Yeah, all those guys yeah. the guns too, right? I don't understand what happened there. Didn't weren't a lot of people armed? But like, if you hear one round in the middle of that, you're gonna be like, oh, it's time. Two people trying to overthrow the government. Did it happen yet? Okay, bye, future. That was a message. I don't know. It's like.
they, they all have the guns. You don't want them to use the guns, but at the same time, it's like, why are you, why, why do you have them? Why are you showing them off? Like, why don't you do something like with it? You know? Uh, like the point of it, you gotta. They're showing that they're they can carry it, but they're not gonna use it because they're. Not, I don't know. Yeah, not I violent. could use it. I could if I want to, but I'm not going to. But I got it. Yeah. They're just being terrorists. Yeah. <laughs> What's the point of having a gun if you don't shoot? <coughs> yeah. <coughs> but uh, I just want to wave it around and get a fake gun. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Well, Crazy. Uh, I got a new co-worker. Yeah. He said that he used to be uh, a bodyguard or a... Uh, like a protection for celebrities. Yeah, who? Mike Tyson. Who was it? Mike Tyson's bodyguard? That's what he said. Now he's doing the truck? Yeah. He's like, not that tall. He's like, I don't know, like dad's height maybe? He's like normal guy. You believe him? He's uh, looks like he's about that age. He said that he used to be a cop, and then he was a. Oh. I'm getting call the other one. Okay, bye. Bye. Hello. Yo, fellow. Hello. Hey, what's going on? Hi, how are you? Um. I was talking to my brother, and I'm talking to you. Oh, yeah? Did you hang up on your brother? What? Did you hang up on him? Well, I told him I told him that there's another call, and he's been talking for uh, a while. Oh, uh, okay. All right. He's relieved, uh, probably. Relieved? Oh, yeah. He probably took him away from the television. Yeah. He was yeah. watching TV. What was he watching? <laughs> yeah, I think he, was, he said he was watching Hot Ones. Hot ones. Oh, he's watching that that YouTube show. Yeah. You know what's a good one? There's a uh, my favorite hot ones is with uh, Joey Coco Diaz. That's something the viewers can look up. I don't know who that is. Some like uh, some um, let's see, some Spanish like big big fat Spanish comedian guy. He kind of look. He kind of he's Spanish. So he's Cuban, but you would think he was like. A guy from The Sopranos or something. He looks more like an Italian guy. He's just like a uh, a brash comedian from New Jersey. Jersey. Yeah, he he has a lot of hilarious stories about growing up in like New York and Jersey in the seventies. Uh, he was a criminal. He was a um. Was he? he would uh he would like rob people in like stores and get in all these uh, he tell, has a lot of criminal stories from the 70s and 80s um, he would rob people because he uh, wanted drug money he wanted to do cocaine so he wasn't the best guy back in the day but I think he's redeemed himself a little bit I think, he, uh, I think he's sober now he was in Spider-Man 2 did you ever see uh, Spider-Man 2 with Tobey, uh, Tobey Maguire I think is in that that, that, that yeah, era of Spider-Man um, do you remember the subway scene in that movie? The sub... Spider-Man's on the subway, and Doc Ock is coming at him. The train? Is it... He's on uh, a subway, like above-ground subway train. Spider-Man 2. If it's above the ground, then it's a train. If it, I think if it's underground, then it's a subway, right? No, it, but, no, but it, it's like it go, it's underground, but then it goes above ground. Oh. Some subways do that. They would do that in Philly. They would do that in Philly. But ne yeah, yeah, then I guess it is just a train. You still call it a point. subway, though, huh? What's that? The subway, even though it's, like, above the ground? Yeah. You don't remember that? You don't remember that? that, that no, uh, I've seen. That's the big Spider Man movie. It's above ground. In the Spider Man but, movie. Yeah, do you, do you remember that movie? With the, the Dr. Ock? Dr. Yeah, Ock. and then he's got. And then everybody. He, everybody, like, sees him take off his mask, and they're, like, helping him, and it's, like, Jesus. 
Yeah. He's like in the front like of that. the train. He's like stretching himself out, and he's doing like the the looks like he's getting crucified. And then they all carry yeah. him, and they say, Yeah, there's the he's the guy, the comedian I'm talking about. He's the first guy that like gets up and says like, Hey, you're gonna have to go through me. If you're gonna want to get to Spider Man. So. Tough. Yeah. That's his big uh, movie moment. What else was that guy in? This guy was also in, um, what's the movie called? Uh, that football movie with Adam Sandler. It was a remake, I think. Um, I mean, the Longest right Yard. Girl who's just, uh, he's just got a lot of, uh, he's just got a crowd. Like, it's hard to fight a crowd, you know? But, who do- but what if you're, what if you're Doc Ock? That might make it easier. But what about Doc Ock versus like 60 people? You know, you can only. I don't know. He just wave his arms around. <laughs> yeah. Knock them all out. I don't... Yeah. Seems like he could get like 10 and then they get him. Yeah, I don't know. I'd have to be there. Yeah. That doesn't seem like it's worth my time to consider that anyway. To do. Uh, I don't think it'll ever apply to my life. Fiction, fiction math. Did I do what? Fictional math, fighting math. Fictional fighting math. Math, math. Math. Fictional fighting math. Fictional fighting math. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't like math. What are you doing? I'm driving. Where? I'm just driving around. I have to go into work. Um, I'm gonna host. You just tonight. going on a cruise? But I just, I, yeah, I just drove by my work though, and it looks dead. I don't know if they really need me in. I feel like I should call. You just working outside? No, no, inside. What? Inside. Oh, but you're not supposed to? No, we are. You're allowed to work, be inside? Indoor dining is open again. What? Since when? Since the 5th, I think. How long was it closed? Like two or three weeks. That's it? What? <laughs> but nothing happened. What's the point of that? If you go back and forth, there's no... That doesn't help anything. Like... Yeah? What do you think? Hello? Hello? You there? Hmm. No, oh, Paul. That's kind of weird that they're going back to indoor dining. Washington doesn't do that. That'd be frustrating if you. Only... Oh. Hello. I guess I lost the connection. Yeah. Um, I went to the CD store today. The CD? You're gonna buy some CDs? I got a bunch. I got. Yeah, I've been getting CDs now because my car has a CD player, so I've been getting myself CDs. You no, know, your car doesn't have an auxiliary cable. Nope. And I have more. I, it might. I don't. No, I don't think it does. But I have more fun getting CDs anyway. Yeah. What'd you get? I got um, one of them is an electronic guy. His name. I don't really like the name. His name is Com Trues. You know, to play on Tom Cruise. I, I don't really like the name, but it's good. Like, it's easy, like, sense music. And then what else is there? There's, um, I got a Cat Power. I got Moon Fix by Cat Power. <laughs> I got, I got a, um. Oh, Cat Power. I was thinking about Cat Stevens. I don't know really. I, don't know. I got, um, I got Hole, the band that, uh, Courtney Love was in. Oh, yeah, which one? I like that. Live Through This. Yeah, I got, um, uh, Live Through This. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't heard it in years. That's like, it's one of my favorite albums, I think. Oh, yeah, while. I like that album a lot. Yeah, it's really good. Um, people give her a hard time if only they knew how good her music was. I um, think I was talking about this, like, not too long ago. Were you there? Really? Yet? No, I don't think I was. I was talking about Hole on the program, like, three days ago. <laughs> That's strange. I didn't hear that, no. I don't know um, why. 
Yeah, and then what else did I get? I got one other CD, I think. Shoot, now I need to try to rack my brain. Oh, you ever listen to a, what is it, a Majin Heap? A Majin Heap? No. It's like I M O G E N space H E A P, I think. It's um, like some synth pop stuff from 2005. This lady just did it all by herself in her bedroom or something. In, uh, yeah, you do you know, know that meme? It's like that meme. It was going around the internet for a little bit. They're like, mm, what you say? That, yeah, that that's little, that. yeah. It, that, that actually comes from this album. But like nobody, I, I don't even know why. Because nobody actually like, knows the song. You know, you know in, that, in that whole album when they say, she says, I went to school in Olympia. Did she say that in that whole album? I think it's that album, yeah, you know? Oh, it's been a while. I went um, to school. In Olympia, that's where, anyway, that's where uh, I live. Oh, is that where she went to? Oh, really? Yeah. Let me read the songs on here. It's Violet, Miss World, Plump, Asking For It, Jennifer's Body, Doll Parts, Credit in the Straight World, Softer, Softest, She Walks on Me, I Think That I Would Die, Gutless, Rockstar. Was this when Kurt Cobain was still alive? This might have been right after he died. I... Some of the one of those albums is like they think that it's good because that uh, she like killed him and stole songs. <laughs> oh, that's hey maybe. <laughs> yeah. No, I think she was just good. I think she was talented. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna look at the booklet now. Let me see. Are you driving? No, no, no. I parked. <laughs> yeah, that would be bad. Um. Is there lyrics in there? What's that? Lyrics in the book? Yeah, I'm looking at the little booklet. Oh, she was she was pretty. Is there lyrics in there? There's a little no, they don't have all the lyrics. They have one little snippet with a little little like little What school Olympia? Art um, thing they put together. How was no, that? nothing about oh let me see if it was Anything was done in Olympia, let me see. No, probably not. They didn't record it. They just no, they did it in Los Angeles. Yeah. Did stuff in Los Angeles, yeah. How's, the, how's that sushi? It was adequate. Did you eat both of them? What's that? Did you eat both of them? Uh, I ate two and I got one for my stepdad. I just noticed that the whole, like, what is it? How would you say? What is it? The design for the, like... The band name on this album cover. It looks like it's supposed to be like the Barbie logo. Logo. I think. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. I don't know if I ever noticed that. Um, you ate, cool. You, you got three at the store? Three? Mm. No, I got six CDs. You bought how many packs? Two? Packs? Five dollars. Five dollars yeah, a, a thing, right? For the CDs? Oh, no, I was talking about sushi still. Oh, oh. Um, I got three for five dollars, yeah. Three, three rolls? Yeah, yeah. And then you only bought one five dollars worth? One, yeah, there was, the, each one was for five dollars. So you spent fifteen dollars? Fifteen dollars altogether. Okay. Plus tax. Yeah. They got sales tax? I believe so. You don't know? <laughs> no, they do. Oh. They stick us with that. Oregon, yeah, we got sales tax. Like we have, and, but Oregon does not have sales tax. Oregon does not have sales Oh, I think I remember that. Yeah. Strange. You don't even have to pay for your stuff in Oregon. You just walk out the door. They can't do anything. Yeah, and drugs are legal, too. What's that? Drugs are legal in Oregon now. <laughs> Damn, I should have moved there. Oregon's like Amsterdam or something. I don't know. I think Portland had a had a crazy year. I'm kind of okay for uh, with not having no. been there. Por Portland, they say, is the whitest city, like out of cities. <laughs> yeah, I remember I was telling a barista um, that I was thinking about moving when I was visiting there. Yeah. And he was like, and he was just like, don't. Yeah. 
But it's like, well, fuck you. You, didn't, you know, your family hasn't been here for like 300 years either. You're as bad as me. You know, maybe well, they have been. Maybe they were. Never mind. He was trying to keep, keep more white people out of there or what? What's that? He was, he was, he was there. It's like, you're here. Yeah, but I would, Portland, probably a cesspool. Yeah, well, what are you going to do? Not avoid it. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Um. How's how's, e how's Evie? How's TV? Evie, A Evie. Oh, oh, how's Evie? We were talking about Better Call Saul today. Uh. -huh. Um. We were. What else were we talking about? Because she started watching Better Call Saul. Um. What else? Uh. Oh yeah, we were talking about how it's funny that um, Ariel Pink got uh, in a lot of heat, got Ariel Pink got some slack today. Why? <laughs> Apparently, he like has been posting some like. Um, apparently, he's like putting his allegiance to Donald Trump out there on social media and stuff like that. I, I think it might be a joke. I don't know though. Um, who is it? He's, this guy's like a musician, right? Yeah, he's like a, um, he was like a big, like, lo-fi guy in like the 2000s. Um, he's gotta be I a think Am He's gotta be joking. I would think that he might be, you know, but it's definitely being taken seriously enough. Um, who else is getting in trouble? I don't know if this guy really, I think this guy might just be getting root roped in, but he didn't really do anything that's warranting. I, I, I don't even know. John Mouse or Mouse, you know who that guy is? No, but after yesterday, anybody, Trump people are terrorists. Terrorists? Yeah. Oh. You didn't hear about yesterday? Uh, they, uh, loosely. I heard, well, I heard key points. Well, I heard... Trump people are terrorists now. It's official. Yeah, I don't know. That might be... I might be... I don't know if all of them are terrorists. That might be a little too hard. To, because there's 70 million Trump supporters in the country, and if we start calling them all terrorists, that might get a little dangerous. You know? That's what I would think. It, maybe it's a risk we got to take. <laughs> so what? That we, all, that we all kill each other? I think we all need to learn to get along. Yeah. I think we need to focus on our our uh, commonalities, you know. I think we need to. Do you want you you want to you want to be friends with terrorists? I mean, no, but I don't think all. I don't think anyone who says they're a Trump supporter is a terrorist. I think you could say, oh, if you support Biden, you're a terrorist. You could say the same thing. I don't know. It, it's too generalizing. I don't know. In my humble opinion. All right. Um, That's my humble opinion. Wait, I allowed to drop my key. I'm gonna record a message oh, to the future. Alright. People who are still, still think that they're trying to like undermine the government or the terrorists. You know, not not people who voted for him necessarily. Oh. Wait, I actually have to go into work right now, so I'm going to have to not talk to the future today. All right, good luck. Bye. All right, bye-bye, you too.
Oh, look, it's the commercial. Uh, hi, 2018. It's us, 2017. What's it like in the future? Is life stronger up there? What do we do now? That's why I'm supposed to not ask questions to you. I'm supposed to tell you what I did today, which is no talk to what, maybe, maybe nobody on the phone. Did we actually get through to anybody? I think, oh, Yellow Fowl answered for like a second. And we also just, you know, did the right, it was a pretty regular time. Uh, again, we were, we were back from TCPD and we're talking about the whole like, vacation talk. We're on every night at uh, 11.30 and 2 a.m. on 15.22. We're online, 360364, all these messages get on TV. Stop the toilet, or get on your toilet actually, new toilet. Better do this. The government, did it happen yet? Okay, bye, future. I think I did do this, but I'm doing it again. It's okay. Hey, future, it's us. The past. It's, uh, mm, uh, Thursday, and we're talking to Yellowfellow, uh, and Andrew, and Grandma is hasn't gone out of bed. Hopefully Grandma got out of bed. It's the day after those uh, riots and stuff, and uh, people are looking for tourists. Right by future. All right, let's take a look at this stuff. Two weeks. Two weeks. What have we been doing? Today is the 7th. We're going to be going back into December. Uh, i got to get a calendar. Oh, I might have a lead on a calendar, though. If I if it shows up, if I can get it. Monday didn't have the day on there, but I think I'm gonna be going back to uh, what twenty twenty something into December, going back into last year. I guess this is the first today is the, the first day of the week from the of the new year. We've been in the new year for a whole week now. There's one week from the 31st, yeah. New Year's Day. I'm going to go back to, I think, Christmas Day, actually. Maybe is that how it works, so. What we're we doing on Christmas Day. We'll find out. Gene and uh, Laura, it's been um, over a week, I guess. Week and a half. Saturday, Friday, and then Thursday is the one we're going to look at. The one like this one. Oh, it's Christmas Eve, yeah. Yeah, Mark Rowell upstairs. I don't know what I'm going to do with my uh, with the tape. It's all messed up, and you know. Future mm. probably, huh? Okay, bye. Hey, future, it's us, the past. Is this tape working? Are we back on track with this thing? I know I messed it up yesterday. I think it should be okay. It's Christmas Eve today. Talking to Andrew, talking to Laura. Laura got spiced nuts and nut syrup for Christmas. And uh, Freddie's watching some mini series with his family. They stopped making Olympia beer. Thursday. Okay, bye, future.
Yep, yep, yep. Hey, future says the past. How come you always got to do stuff I might tell you not to do? Oh, um, it's Christmas time. We looked at some stuff. Christmas in quarantine. Nobody wants to have family. Christmas. 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 Christmas quarantine. No, keep on it. I don't listen. Hey, future, it's us in the past. Hey, you fucking fatty in the future, why are you eating so much food? <laughs> get, uh, get over there, it's, uh, it's the day after Christmas. We're talking about movies with Andrew. Say goodbye, Grandma. Goodbye! Hey, future, it's us in the past. It's, uh... <laughs> is it, is it better yet? <laughs> <laughs> is it 2021? Jimmy Eggnog. Yeah, 2021. <laughs> hey, it's about Green Tea! Alright, uh, bye future. Hey, future, it's just the past. I have future. <laughs> Number one. Number one. We're, we got, we're getting some life updates with James and we uh, talking yeah. about the cosmic plan. Uh, it's uh, 2012. Say hi, Heather. Hello. We out here. Welcome to the world. <laughs> hey, <Hi>, Alex. <laughs> Alex. Yeah. There yes, sir. <laughs> Bye, future. <laughs> Future, it's just the past. How much money did we actually get? Two thousand dollars? One thousand dollars? No dollars? Andrew's talking, talking about Pixar movies and up in that house and uh... Yeah. It's uh... What day is it? Wednesday? Tuesday. And we're uh... Doing it at four o'clock in real time. Okay, bye Future. Bye. Hey, future, that's the past. Hi, future. You hope that was feeling better. Future, I hope that the future is not as scary as I think it might be. I'm driving. Alright, it's my one second, my future. Hey! Future! It's us the past. 10, 9, 8, 8 7, 7, 6, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Whoa! Um, it's New Year's 2020, so it's gonna, it's gonna be the same though. Probably in the future. How's the future? Is it better than this year? Say hi, y'all, so. Oh, uh, hello, future. I am tired. I have a headache. I want another play of fish. <laughs> Bye, future. Bye. Bye. Hey, 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 future, just the past. Mr. Ginsu, we never say the future. Yeah, uh, you are. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Mr. Ginsburg, we're going to participate in the future today. Mr. Ginsburg, uh, moved on. Mr. Ginsburg moved on from his own, and he's, he's looking for new people. He's not... Kill. <laughs> 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 Bye, future. Hey, future sets the past. You have to say the future, Mark. Well... You know, if you keep watching daily on to me, you'll be you'll be uh, starting to learn things from what you hear on the on the show. I was talking to Andrew. Oh, yeah. yeah, making breakfast burritos. Grandma doesn't do anything. Not she pie. All right, bye. If you trip. Hey, future, that's the past. Here we are in 2021. 20. 
seventeen is now four years ago, uh, and who knows where you are, future? Looking back at us, we forgot. You remember what baby corn is? Yeah, we forgot again. Are you in twenty twenty five? Is that right? Twenty twenty five? Yeah. It would be yeah. Or six. Five. Five. Bye. I don't know. All right. Bye, future. Future says to the past. Hello, future. Let me get it. What do you have to say to the future? Uh, hi. Hi. Hey. It's yeah. birthday. It's my birthday. And our operator's on the phone is going to move. He's here. Moving, moving down to Southern Oregon, letting it burnt up like a big crisp. Okay. Hey, future, it's us, the past. Oh, hi, past. Hey, future, did you get the vaccine? Um, is grandma have hearing aids? How many sunglasses do you have? Okay, bye, future. Hey, future, it's us, the past. Hi. <laughs> Sorry about that. You eat the sushi? I, I got some sushi. And I am sitting in a parking lot, and I'm talking to Kenny on the phone here. There's crazy people trying to overthrow the government. Does that happen yet? Okay, bye, future. Overthrow it. Hey, future, it's us. The past. It's uh, mm, uh, Thursday, and we're talking to a yellow fellow. Uh, and Andrew and Grandma is hung out of the bed. Hopefully Grandma got out of the bed. It's the day after those uh, riots and stuff, and uh, people are looking for terrorists. Bye bye, future. Look out for riots and terrorists. We only got about we got about four minutes left today. I'm gonna say things. I think for the next four minutes, that's the plan. Looks like. You know, I'm finally out of things after all this time. Uh, I know where John is. I know this doing this thing uh, early is better than late. Because for a long time I was doing this show at 8:45 every day, but now I've been doing it around one o'clock. Um, but then at night time I don't have much to do because of uh, you know, I'm not going anywhere. So and I'll start going somewhere. Um. Yeah, the rice cooker burned out today. I got it in June, and when I did get it, I was, like, telling myself that I was going to start, like, keeping track of of it, basically, and, how, like, how long it lasted, and I was trying to do some kind of, like, value math to figure out, like, when I, like, if I should have bought the more expensive one or if I should have bought the cheaper one, but now I just went through and bought another cheap one instead of trying to figure out what I was going to do like I probably told myself like if it breaks in this amount of time I'll buy a new one but uh I don't remember the math and instead of doing that I just panicked and bought a new one when I saw that the old one broke because I want to get a new one in, in the next few days before I run out of this, this batch which might be my last batch for a while if I don't get a new one and then what am I going to eat so that's like my livelihood in a way so I just went and panicked bought a new one instead of uh Waiting for the the, the the value or trying to go back and see if I had a plan. And I think I had a plan. Like I remember having a plan. It's like, hey, what's the plan? Well, I made a plan. And so, if you don't remember the plan, what's the point? And except for that, I did put the plan on the program most likely, but it's you know buried. In hours and hours, it can go back and look about when I bought the last one, and then go look some titles around that time of, of when I got it. But I don't know. I'm probably never gonna know. But uh, I got a new one. I got a black one this time instead of the white one. It's fun to get new things anyway. I guess when the old things work, though, I guess it's fun when the old things work. 
but I didn't I didn't have anything coming in the mail that's not good like I want stuff to be arriving slowly so that's something another thing Laser Zeppelin was on there, 2011, Out of Soda, there's an episode called Out of Soda, this is not something that would be a problem anyway now, Dan on a Wednesday, Chasing Science, oh, Dan was on three days in the, in the past, False Lies, Normal Phase 1.5, Percentage of Water, New Year's Calendar, oh yeah, I want the New Year's Calendar now, well we made it, kinda, did we? for watching Thursday we're on TV channel 22 11.30 and 2am check it out yeah 367 call me a message get on TV chicken.com yeah check it out Thank you, good song. PC TV, Dirty Top, I saw the book, Force Video, Mountain Drop, Wire, Rebecca, Stop by that Com, Mountain Boys, Northwest, Distant County, Washington State, USA, thank you, and viewers, it's you, you're watching, thank you. Oh, hi, John, call me. Hell yeah, dog. <laughs>